G'day, I'm Outback Jack. Well, it's true, Australia is running out of criminals, but don't worry, because we're importing criminals now from all the corners of the world to make up for what we lost. No country would be complete without their criminals, and Australia is no exception. So it's a national matter now, and our government is letting in more people now than they did before the Industrial Revolution. It's a matter of pride for Australia. We need our Ned Kellys for the future. Otherwise, we'd become just another boring country. Tourists are great too, but let's face it, unless there's someone here to arrest them, why would they bother to come here? People want excitement in their lives, and that's why Australia is a place to come to. Australia is a country full of it, with outback action, city action, and political, well, that's more inaction. Australian people are the Heinz variety of society, and everyone expects us to be controversial, special, and different. They first imported Australians as criminals hundreds of years ago, and so the history must continue to repeat itself, so the rest of the world knows that we haven't changed one little bit. We have a reputation to uphold. Now, I'm not blaming the boat people, because most of those are the honest ones. It's all these sneaky so-called tourists that come here with a ticket, but then they stay because they know they're on a good thing. They know Australia needs more criminals, so they make themselves available. It's all about balance in the world. Other countries don't want their criminals, and Australia does, so we take them in. All you need is a ticket, and you'll be living in paradise anywhere you like in Australia. Crikey, I reckon they'd even put you up in Canberra for a few days just to make you feel welcome. No one really trusts a politician, and criminals are more trustworthy, because at least you know where you stand with a crook. But a politician will always stab you in the back without you even knowing it. They're a sneaky lot here in Canberra, so you'd better not go there after all. It's no secret that the road to Canberra is off the main highway, and I can understand why they made a detour. They should have a warning sign there stating, Political Capital. Then that way, all the honest crooks can stay away from there. Canberra is no place for an honest crook, I tell you that. You have to be politically motivated to go there. So all you would-be criminals thinking of coming to Australia... Make sure you know what area of crime you want to specialise in. If you've got a standout crime field, you're most likely what we need. If you're just a petty criminal here to make a few bucks, you may as well go home. This country is only for the specialist criminal that has a unique talent to become famous. Or is that infamous? Anyway, you need to be serious about your criminal talent so you can become famous like Ned Kelly. Ned Kelly was an Australian bush ranger. And even though we've still got plenty of bush, I suggest you try another field of crime because there's not much room available anymore for bush rangers. The politicians have taken over that portfolio. They rob from the rich, the poor and the helpless, making sure they keep on top in their field. We don't need any more political crooks as we have enough of those here for now. Come to think of it, those sneaky politicians just about have the whole criminal network within Australia now keeping extortion, overtaxing, stealing from the poor and withholding many of the basic services that people need to survive, like hospital services and affordable living. In Australia you can work till you drop and there's no incentive to save because those politicians will rob you blind. It's a land of opportunity for politicians and crooks. Anyway, bye till next time. Have a good day, mate.